Welcome back to the John Mandola Show here in WILK. Abby Norello joining us from the Pittston area track and field team. And uh, Abby, welcome in this morning. Hi, thanks for having me. Well, great to see you again. And uh, big news from you. Let's, uh, let's hear the big news about uh, your college choice coming up here. Um, I'm committed to the University of Pennsylvania for track and field. All right, congratulations. Thank you. Let's talk about those choices and uh, why it came down to, uh, to head over to the University of Pennsylvania. Um, well, at first... Um, I went on an official visit to Bucknell and then the University of Pennsylvania and immediately I just got that feeling and I felt like I was at home and I still had a visit left at Harvard and the decision really came down between the University of Pennsylvania and Harvard which was a tough decision but I went with my heart and I'm really really happy with my decision. Academically you're outstanding Uh, oh only a (laughs) (laughs) 4.382. Talk about uh, just just being so dedicated in the classroom. Um, it's always something that I've strived for ever since I was little. Like I've always wanted perfect scores on my tests and to really understand the material. And um, it's just something that I've always done was just really study hard for everything and just try to be the best that I can be in and out of the classroom. You got a couple sisters. Uh, one's a little older. One's a little younger. And uh, talk a little bit about both of them. Um, I have a younger sister, Olivia. She's a sophomore this year, and she does swimming and track and field. And she did tennis this year. And then I have an older sister, Haley. And she's a sophomore at Chestnut Hill College outside of Philly, and she does lacrosse. And uh, National Honor Society, Keat Club, um, you're in- involved in a few things there at Pittston Area. Talk about those clubs. Um, I'm actually the vice president of the National Honor Society, and I've been a member of the Keat Club for four years now. So, and a lot of miscellaneous clubs and activities here and there, a lot of volunteer work, which I just really love to do. Traveling uh, with the uh, the sport that you do and pole vaulting, it's not easy. you got to take a bunch of poles with you and stuff like that. <laughs> Talk about being able to travel well and, and how that all kind of works out. Yeah, I especially travel with my club team, the Hudson Valley Flying Circus. And especially the indoor season, they kind of take us around. We jump at the armory in New York together. And they're actually taking me back out to the National Pole Vault Summit in Reno, Nevada. So that's something that I'm really looking forward to as well. Talk about all that travel and the time and the dedication. Um, kudos to your folks. Uh Talk about what they mean to you. They mean the world to me. Um, I love my parents very much, and they're so very supportive of everything that I that I do. Um, they're really the backbone of the person that I have become. They drive me to practice, which is like two hours away in Warwick, New York, like twice a week. So without them, none of this would have been possible. Yeah, we hear about the hustle and bustle that uh, everybody with travel sports would try driving to New York for two hours and driving back a couple times a week with your kid and. Um, look at the results you're getting out of this kid. This is just unbelievable. And uh, Abby, you talk about uh, life and, and the outlook that you have of it and, and being such a good student and science and math is kind of your thing. Uh, take us through being you and, and all the dedication that you have, uh, whether it's in the classroom or as a athlete. Um, I'm actually on like a very set schedule with myself school after school work and lift if I'm not going to practice right after school and then coming home studying going to bed and waking back up and starting it over again so um, I'm a very busy person I keep myself very occupied with a lot of things going on but it's worth it because I know that my future graduating high school and going on to the University of Pennsylvania I have a lot to look forward to with all the opportunities that I will pursue and of course uh, having some friends uh, that's always important as well talk about your friendships there at Pittston area and and what you do for fun Oh my gosh. Um, Right now, especially, we're very big on football games. Um, Being a senior in the pep squad is kind of a pretty big deal. We paint signs, and I'm very close with a lot of my friends that participate in pep squad as well. So it's been a really fun time, especially this part of the year. Abby Norwillow, congratulations. University of Pennsylvania is your next step. Thank you so much for coming in studio today. Thank you for having me. All right. A super student and a super Young lady, very well-rounded, that's for sure, Abby Norwilla. We thank you so much for joining us each and every day here on the John Mandola Show, thejohnmandolashow.com. Have a super day from everybody here at WILK.